Hello, Monster Man here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires, a part 11 of my Altharian campaign, where we're defending Gronti Mingle against the Greenskin attack. This is just the garrison trying to fend off uh, a rather sizable blob of Greenskins, but I am cautiously optimistic. So having taken down one of the Siege Towers with a ability, Vols hammer something like that i can't remember basically lets you knock down siege engines and walls during a siege it's quite useful so that means they can only use this one which means we're going to focus our efforts on basically taking down any unit that comes out of this siege tower so the best way to do that is to have your missile units not on the wall but actually down on the ground because that way the um, the enemy unit will try and sort of like organize itself before it comes down off the wall and that'll give you plenty of time to shoot it in the face double points if you have a unit actually up on the wall to keep them occupied especially if they're off to the side because that means the enemy unit will usually go and engage them and that gives you a uh, free reign to take them out something like that we do have some units actually heading up onto the wall itself but on this section we do have units or actually uh, missile units actually on the wall the sea guard there are raining down fire because this is somewhere where they're probably not going to actually get up onto the wall and so this is a good place to sort of like rain fire down on their little heads the giant is going to be an issue because he's big. He's got a lot of hit points. Uh, we could probably just shoot him to death, but he's going to—he's going to be a big arrow sponge. Although what you can do, little hints and tips here, is once units are actually inside the city, you can bring your missile units and put them on the other side of the wall and basically turn the other side of the or actually in, inside the city into a killing zone, which works quite well. You can see the units are nicely like lev like lining up here to uh, to get up onto the wall, and yet more savage orcs getting lots of arrows in the face. They're quite they're quite spongy as well, thanks to their physical resistance. But as you can see, lots and lots of arrows. What I should have done here is actually put the equal bolt thrower back a little bit, and uh, that could have helped out uh, taking out the savage orcs. But uh, that's fine. Lothar and Seaguard engaging the orc boys. I think they should do okay here because Lothar and Seaguard are very very tanky. So they should do okay. What we're actually going to do, we're actually going to bring a Great Eagle over to help out because that will disrupt their formation. It will help out. It will send them flying like that. And that will help That will help the, um, the, the the engagement there come out in our favour. We also have some Light Goblin Archers, which I do not want climbing up on my wall. So I'm going to send the other Eagle to go and deal with that one. And we have Hill Goblins coming up onto the gates. These guys do have silver shields, but seen as they'll be busy trying to attack the White Lions, they will mostly like show their backs to us, and so their shields will be completely pointless, and we can continue to rain fire down on their little heads, which is ideal. The Giant is through, and I haven't noticed because I'm busy dealing with other things, which is unfortunate because I do have some Silver Helms here, and we're going to get charged by the Savage Orc Boar Boys, which is not really we wanted to charge them. Them charging us is bad. We wanted to charge them, uh, but uh, there we go. And the Giant is now inside the city as well. That doesn't mean we'll be losing control of the city centre. Not a huge problem. Uh, Lothar and Seaguard there now facing other directions. So they're going to be raining fire down on the backs of the Savage Orc Boar Boys, which, of course, is going to do a lot of damage, which means the Silver Helms may come out on top but uh, it's going to be a little bit desperate there. Unit of White Lions have uh, done a, a sterling job just dealing with the sheer weight of numbers coming out of that siege, siege tower. You can see that the uh, the Hill Goblin is now down attacking our other unit. The nice other option is to have units down on, um, just behind the wall, and that way they can't be hit by artillery, but they can also then sort of deal with any units that actually try to come down off the wall because they'll come down right into them and they won't get any charge bonus or anything. So the Savage Orcs uh, being taken down. That's good. Okay, I mean, things are fairly under control. I finally realised that pulling the equal bolt throw will be will be better back here. Uh, unfortunately, by that point, it's basically useless, but uh, never mind. We're also starting to run out of ammunition, which is, uh, is not great. But the only units that are now coming out of the, the Siege Tower itself are actually the goblin archers which are our white lines of trade should be able to deal with so we're going to send them up to deal with that and we're going to send everything else we've got to go and help out at the city center so we're going to need to knock out these night goblin archers over here we need to uh, get these guys back in play and we have more and more units the goblin wolf riders now taking the city center the white line uh, silver helms coming back to engage not sure how well that will do. Uh, we've got the last few units coming through the gate now, and this is where we can turn it into sort of a little bit of a killing zone. 
We also have Scar Snick and uh, yeah, there's also a Goblin Rock Club which needs to take out really. A Stopping Pump Wagon which would be quite nasty. The Silver Helms are getting knocked out, but they did do a lot of damage and that giant is down to half health which is really good news okay this battle is going to come down to the wire the white lions moving out of combat uh, i think i accidentally gave them an order to move up along the, the wall or something i need them to take out the rusty arrows really guys gu guys gu guys <sighs> fuck's sake all right at least the rest of the units on the wall have retreated which means the Lothar and Seaguard are now free to engage what's left. Now, we, ha we are losing control of the city centre. But that giant is almost dead. Come on, get some hits in. Come on, you useless bastards. Come back, that's it. Don't cheer. Fucking hit him. Oh, now he's... Can you do it? Can you gonna... No, you're just terrified. You're like, ah. Ah, useless. Useless. He's got some big stabbers, which are just like... Savage Orcs with a big, big stick. Just a really big fucking stick. And by the looks of their animation, the 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 the, the Grail Relic skeleton, because their legs are weird. <laughs> They've got very good posture for Orcs. <laughs> I've never noticed that before. That's funny. All right. Giant is going down, going down, concentrating fire on him. Lothar and Seagull moving into engage. To be honest, I probably should have held these back and uh, just shot up what was left, but uh, I think this will be fine. Stockton Pump Wagon needs to go down. And the White Lion. Now, I mean, look, looking at their stats, the White Lion should be way better than the Rusty Arrows, but in fact. This, this is not really going as well as I thought it would do. Um, in fact, it, it seems like it might be like this battle might be in the balance, weirdly. It says combat even, winning slightly. Yeah, it, it, weirdly, they seem to be doing really well against the White... I don't, I don't know, White Lions are pretty bad, aren't they? They're just, they're just bad. They're a bad unit. Right, the Stopping Pop Wagon's coming back. They're just causing a lot of trouble here, and we are losing victory points. Um, that's not good. We need to regain that. I'm just trying to pick off the last few units. And we've knocked out the Rock Lobber as well. The Eagle coming back to join against Scarsnick because he needs to go down. He ha What's this? Death Juice. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. So he's just doing... He's just doing damage to our unit all the time, which is bad. That's bad. The Eagle the Bolt Throw doesn't have a fucking clue what it's doing. Um, I'm trying to sort of, like, get it to shoot stuff. There's a whole bunch of units just milling about the city centre. I think they're just trying to make sure they control it. Um, so we need to come in here and knock them out. So we're just going to send everyone. Everyone's just charging into the city centre to retake it. Because it's based on the number of units you have in the city centre. So if we have more than them, then they are... Well, they're, they're going to lose control of it. And then it's just a case of taking out those units... Need to knock out those stopping pump wagons. The eagles should be pretty good. Oh, God, they're just rolling through the Lothar and the Seagull. But now they're, now they're stuck, and they're going down. There you go, being poked to death. There we go. That's good. The eagle bolt throw actually managed to rout the Savage Orc Biggins. I don't know how, but good job of there. And the stickers also seem to be going down pretty rapidly, which is good. There goes the war, but that's not really going to be that useful for them. And the archers are keeping Scarstick busy. Which is not good for the archers, but it's good for me. And I mean, looking at the numbers of... I mean, they have... these. I mean, again, the Rusty... I feel like the Rusty Arrows should be dying a lot quicker. But they're actually, like, combat even against guys with double hand axes. They're goblins, guys. Go... go, go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Everyone charging in to knock out Scarlet. We've retaken the city centre. This is great. There's basically no enemy units left on the map, apart from, of course, the Rusty Arrows. And uh, in comes our hero to help out as well. I mean, he's going to die, but that's fine. His name will live on as a man who defended some random shithole in the middle of the Badlands. And we're going to lock him up because that will do damage to him and make him easier to kill. We won't catch him, but that's fine, because we don't need to. We just need to rout him, and indeed we have. And Gronty Mingle is safe. Somehow.
Well, that went better than I thought. I mean, not for Bell and Handel. That guy died, but, uh, you know, he died doing what he loved, defending a shitty outpost in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so, so, let's take... Take them punishment. captive. We, we didn't get um, Skarsnik locked up, but to be honest, just getting rid of him was better than losing the settlement, so that's fine. I'm actually surprised that Gronty Mingle hells, so... There we go. Oh. oh yeah, Weight Watcher for defeating Grom the Paunch. Less upkeep. That's nice. Did we catch Wurzag again? Can you? Yeah. Did we? Uh, c can we indoctrinate him twice, or do we just like send him? I guess we just send him on his way, don't we? Does Does he? Do you do like you know like coffee shops do the stamps? You get four and you get a free coffee. Do you think that's like a thing? You know, you get four nipple clamps and I mean, where are you going to put them? But I mean, we, we could probably find somewhere. But then, you know, uh, you get a free nipple clamp? Who knows? Right yeah, you can sog right off, mate. Yes, get fucking stuffed. In it. Right. Exercise discretion. Yes. But don't exercise. Uh, so, I'm kind of tempted to go. I mean, I guess that's actually quite useful, isn't it? Because that Mist Walker Barrage is is okay. It's okay. It's not bad. That's that's as far as I'll go with that. Um, let's get some evasion there. And a comment of Cassandora. Okay, and we, we're currently holding the line. I mean, it's, it's dicey, but uh, it's so far, it's happening. It's happening. It's actually happening, isn't it? It is. Fantastic. Right. Uh, we have you over there. And the Dark Elves seem to be not having a great time, which is good for us. Do we have, do we have, do we have Dragon Prince? Where the fuck's Dragon Prince is? Hey, you. Oh, so, all right. How many? Four? Four turns? Four bloody turns? Are you insane? Okay. Uh, Encrypt constant local effects. Do we have much stuff here? I genuinely don't know. Okay, just just Master take that. Of high magic. Just take that. How's everything else going? Skaven Blight is being contained. Apart from it's taking car he always takes Castle Carcass on. I don't know why. It just seems like a constant Run, thing with those guys. Uh, Gorgazan. Yeah, I mean, it. you know, we can... Uh, I don't think we could defend against an entire stack, but certainly a small stack would be fine. Uh, we could get the Mistwalker's Sanctum here. We probably want to do that here, though. To give us all the units. Uh, what else could we get at... What's, where is Gorkazon? There, you're down there. Okay, so you're nothing special. In that case, just elven trinkets, please. Prince Eltharia. The fact that Knights of Warrigo are here are... I mean, the that's useful. Grants you safe passage in these lands. Thanks. Tell the Lady Tar. It's very kind of her. Okay, well, I guess we're just waiting Passing for this. Um, oh, yeah, was I forgot about him. Hello. Oh, no, there we go. I'll just double they indoctrinate you. Oh, they already have. have. Do you think this mechanic is based on the, um, on the, 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 the what, what, Shadow of Mordor? Is it Shadow of Mordor? Where you can indoctrinate the orcs and build your army, and then they made the second one where you have to do, uh, oh, well, ambush failed, but never mind. Hello, what, oh, a, what, again? God, you really want that free fucking nipple clamp, don't you? Where's those back? And it's it's going to be fairly samey. Because once again, we have our garrison to help, which means shit tons of arrows. And uh, it's just a case of making sure we don't get flanked by the enemy cavalry. And then filling the rest of the units, enemy units, with as many arrows as we can possibly fit in their face. That's the key. They are trying to flank us. 
Smoke Boar Boys, Goblin Wolf Riders, Forest Goblin Spider Riders. Which is generally fine. Uh, they don't seem to be throwing as many Savage Orcs at us. I wonder if that's because they've, they've lost most of their... Or they lost most of their recruitment grounds. Um, obviously, they've retaken some of them, so they may then be building them back up. But I think it's going to take a while. The Sisters of Avalon just tearing through those Stone Trolls like they weren't even fucking there. The Goblin Spider Riders slamming in against our spear line, which is going to have, yep, predictable results. Going to be cavalry trying to get around behind us. In fact, the Boar Boys do give us the slip. So we're going to send the Skyhawks to rain fire down on the little heads. And hope that it's enough. We also have the, the kitties there just in case. Sort of a backup. And in come the ball. They're charging in. The kitty's going to block them. But they break. They're terrified by the incoming. And they rout right off the battlefield there. Not very good for them. I really need to get more Sisters of Avalon. Those ladies are absolutely fucking brutal. This is wherever you see those fireworks go off, it's just units just melt. It's brilliant. I love it. More of that, please. Okay, a little problem on the flank as Black Orcs are eating our Spire Guards. So we're going to send the Sun Dragon in to breathe all over them. And he has terrible breath. Are you going to breathe? There we go. There we go, and I'm going to, I mean, obviously we're going to try and get Wurzag in in the old s s dun dun normal dungeon. I think the, I think the, uh, the Garrison Opal's in the way, but that's fine. He's, there we go, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Wurzag's back. <laughs> Just can't stay away. He just loves them little clowns. That's why he's naked all the time, isn't it? Easy access. Do not expect pleasantries. The defense of Ivress. Oh god, get a hobby, mate. Knitting or something. Yeah, alright. Anything. Thank the god. I mean we've killed a lot of orcs. Do we think that maybe they don't have much left. It's like they're recruiting over there. And there's chaos there for some reason. Oh. So what okay, what strength rank are they? So they're still six. Which means they're stronger than I am, which is a concern. However, I reckon we can bop you. Which we're gonna do. Uh let's go with there's no point getting these is there because it doesn't really do anything for us i don't think it affects the the special units i could be wrong but i, I suspect it probably doesn't just spread public order because we might need it you never know you never know okay arcane contract yes the warden of tor ivress all right, let's kill you. So bop you. Let them build our defense. Yeah, I could have locked him up, I know, but vortex shard. Uh, it's not really that useful because it reduces enemy wins of magic. And to be honest, the the enemy never really does wins of magic. They just tend to not bother with it. Like they, they tend to not have wizards, and if they do, it's a pain. But more than likely, they just don't. They don't, never seem to put them in their armies, do they? they? Never seem to just bother. Okay, well, we're holding the line for the moment. How many? Make you're still strength rank six. I mean, you're not. You right you're not that much stronger than I am, though. Where is the chaos of one? Nagrond is two, although I suspect that's going to drop. Uh, Blue vipers are three. That's a weird flex. Uh, Corone five. Gringles are boys six. I'm guessing the empire is probably. I oh, know we know the Empire. Empire's eight. Clark are on to seven. So you're set. The dwarves are. The dwarves still have four settlements. They have. It looks like they're retaking stuff, and I wonder if it's because the orcs are so busy concentrating sure, on trying to kill me that uh, the dwarves are managing to retake some ground, which would not be the worst thing. 
In fact, I wonder if. All here are honored dwarf king. Sure enough. Thanks, Beardy. I know, that's going in the book. I know, I know. I know. Uh, right. What's. Oh, hello. You presume to command. Could we indoctrinate Marathi? Of high magic. I mean, if. yes is the answer. There's no point you guys doing Forest anything, because I need to disciple. wait for Dragon. Like, I should have probably built that earlier, but I didn't, and we're here now, and this is the thing that's happening, so that's fine. I could the recruit dragon some dragons. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could recruit some dragons. Moon dragon? I mean, star dragons are better, aren't they? Let's get some dragons. Then we can get five dragon knights. Um, may actually get maybe four dragon knights and then a mage. The turns. But we can't get a mage because we've already got two. I wield the wind. So maybe five dragon knights. <laughs> uh, should be fine. And I wonder if this army is going to come and attack. They, they seem to really want to take Galbraz. May we both serve Ulfwan unto our deaths. Ugh, you're such a downer. Wait, are you... Yep, no, that's fine. Took that without actually checking. Ambush was foiled, but that's okay. I wonder if we can start pushing back. Should we start pushing back? We don't have Imerick to back us up yet, but... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Beastmen. Yep, okay. Right, you're raiding me, no you little glory. shit. Only surface. Exercise discretion. Okay, I'm feeling pretty... I'm feeling pretty positive about this. Marathi is sailing this way. Son of the Phoenix. So, we're going to do that. Be prepared, Asor. And I'm going to come over Destiny here. Lies there. Because we're being raided, and I really do not want Embrace to be raided. The night. You bastards. Uh, no, what do I want? That one. Garrison? Garrison to your is actually not bad. Uh, we don't have the ta we don't have the defences there, but we don't really need them. I'm going to cautiously push out, and this is probably a mistake, but Let your words be true, and your time here brief. So, tell me what you want, and be quick about it. Run aggression pact. Yes, I'll take that. Okay, so, we weren't spotted. We do have a couple of stacks of green skins here. This is actually fine. Look, Prague and Nagrond have been raised in one turn, which is pretty Duty brutal. Is so, let's take out these guys. They're marching so they can't escape. Prince Eltharion. And then we can come back and kill these guys. So, Assume double trouble. Eltharion taking out two greenskins in one turn. Have some Eltharion goo. Enjoy. Uh, there you go. Uh, I think he managed to splatter one. Who did he splat? No. He actually managed to kill a... You know what? He killed the river troll with his... His explosive goo. I mean, that's pretty pretty effective, actually. Took out a troll. That's not bad. There you go. It's one for the for the diary, innit? And so, right, so so we are going to take out this army, and then we're going to sweep down and take out the second army. It's a twofer. And that'll be. I mean, I, I genuinely have lost count of the number of green skin armies that I've I've wiped at this point. But the important thing is we have wiped them. We've held the line. I honestly thought that we would be smashed out of the Badlands. I had this vision of just a green tide descending. And it did. But we held. We held the line. We're holding the line. And we're actually, you know, potentially looking at advancing now. Even before Imeric turns up. And condescends us. Cavill, take it. Yeah, there we go. Tanking tanking squigs with his face once more. That's what he does. It's his thing. Lots of Black Orcs now charging in to join the fray. Oh, poor Cavill. 
that's fine. Um, we're going to drop a rock on on the Black Orcs to uh, to help out. Assuming any of them survive the the Sis of Avalon barrage that is uh, descending upon them. So far, it looks good. It's just the Sis of Avalon. It's so good. I, I need more. I need more of them. I need more. But first, let's drop a little rock on their heads. God, that looks good. I, I, I just love... The Comet of Cassandora is just so much fun. I, I know that there are better Winds of Magic, but... Or spells, even. But the Comet, so good. And there we go. We've also got the uh, little goblin locked up. So that's, that's a bit of a win, isn't it? Okay, that's one less army. Uh, let's get Make an example of it. experience. Okay. Prince Elthar. And then we come back and kill you. You do want to fight as well. Jeez, can I just order? Oh, order is over. Is they will toil for There's only so many orcs you can kill before you start going, ugh, more orcs. Uh, no defense for dragon units. A dragon rouser. It is okay. but one. Guess that's like a fluffer. Maybe. Uh, right. Okay, another one. Good. Lock. Okay, good. Yep. Right. Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Right. Okay, good. Elf one expects. Expects dragon fluffers? Uh, so. So, that's only 8% weapon strength, whereas that one is 10 and 20. So, and that's only against... It is, it is green skins. Um, you know what? That might actually be a good idea. So, let's grab that one. Got Wound Maker. Don't really need more... Speed. I guess we go. For, I, I don't tend to go Valor of the Ages because I'm a bit like, ah, it's so, it, you know, but then I guess if we're in the Badlands and we're fighting Greenskins, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Could give you a chariot, but I feel that's just going to get you in trouble. Let's do something like that. Okay. Okay. We've just got now two armies and he's dropped down to strength rank seven. So we make it. it we're, we're doing some. We're doing Greetings, some damage. If we could get a military alliance with Thorgrim, that would be pretty good. I would like that. Okay, Marathi's still. She's still My sailing God, around. You are wandering off. So I'm just going to allow you to it wander off. We've got one more turn, and then we can... Oh, we've got two people in the prison. Oh, oh it's... Yeah, it's, of course, it's fucking worth a second. Uh, right, yeah, indoctrinate you. Truth. Yeah, all right, do that. Swear that you will defend Ivress. Yep, swear it. Have we got... Have we, have we upgraded everything? Uh, okay, that's level... Right, oh, that one, that one, that one, that one. All done. That one, that one. It's just this one to go, then. We only need... Uh, and then we're fully fully upgraded. So that's good. And we've got so much fucking money, I genuinely don't know what to do with it. We could probably get another army. I'm losing 5k a turn, but I don't think that's true. I think I'm actually making money, but it's just not telling me. So 51,000. Remember that number. Speak plainly. And only of matters of business. Yes. I will take that. Uh, what do I do? I need to check my victory conditions again. The am I going to have to play another fucking campaign? Safe. If I am, it's Beastmen. Just throw it out of there. If we're waiting for Warhammer 3, it's Beastmen. <laughs> it's going to be Beastmen. Okay, is Marathi still... Oh. You presume to command. I presumed you'd fucking go somewhere else. I'd forgotten I had settlements down there. Whoops! Alright. Book it, guys. 
It's not the end of the world, to be honest, if we lose the shot. I prefer not I to. Use this insolence. I wield the wind. Will she attack in one I turn? I don't know if she will, me. actually. She might Infused just run away. We'll also see she's taking attrition, isn't she? Kislev burns, strangers. I mean, I don't think she can attack in one turn. Uh, are you guys... Oh, you guys are siege attackers. And that's a lot of manticles. Well, I guess we'll find out. Uh, let's... Let's do that. Eat my mist. I will not. No, oh, but you will, Rathi. You will. Brook no failure. Okay, Grimgore is heading in that direction. So shall we go Joy to see if water. we can intercept? See, we have to ambush because otherwise we'll probably run away. Discretion. Exactly. Discretion. Keyword of the day. That and I fuck Marathi. Do not expect pleasantries. The defense of Ivress. Who? Uh, you want money for a defense for lions? I don't even know who you are, mate. Get stuffed. All right, Grimgore has landed at Gronti Mingle, which is exactly what we thought. So we should be able to move in and attack. Arkdal Migdal is under. is being raided. Rathi didn't attack, so we should be, be able sure. to reach not waste my time. and knock them out. Uh, Non-aggression pact. Yeah, why not? It seems to be a bit bitey, the Empire. Yeah. It's a little bit bitey. It's fine. It's probably alright. Haven't haven't had to torture any vampires lately. So far. Ogamastries leave. That's fine. Rathi is is getting of high magic. attritioned. Be prepared, Asor. Be prepared. The if we come out here, marches. can we... I still think that's the best way to... Oh, is that literally the only way you can land? Oh, let me see. I long for an open sky. Okay, you come over here. You may look upon me. Ugh. <sighs> Sure, why not? What do we need for this? Uh, we, oh, we need more lions of tr Oh, yeah. Okay. Can we recruit war lions? Do we have the war lions? But no. Okay. Um, wait, did... No, that's not the same thing. Okay, well, just, just get more... Yeah, get those. I see the winds. Destiny lies you scooch over you here. You do not look like you are riddled, love. And I don't think you can get away either. I don't think you can get away. Let's get military advancements. We got the cash. I meant to check how much money I had and I completely forgot. Never mind. Stand ready. Hi, Grimgore. No got way. some nipple clamps with your name on them. I didn't plan on corner camping, it just sort of happens. I don't know, that's what everyone says, but it's true in this game. I, I wasn't, it's just, it happened to be the best place. Like, I was sat down there, I was like, I could come back here, there's a bit of a hill there, that's probably better for me, so I did that. Uh, the Lothan Seagull on the flank getting a little bit harassed here, so we're going to send in Turkey Squadron. Turkey Squadron going to uh, land there and engage. Your poor boys, give us a little bit of time. And then Altharian chasing down the Orc Ball boys over here, giving us a little bit of extra time. Again, again this should be fairly straightforward. Lothan Seagard literally just getting into position as the Stotling Pump Wagons arrive. There's, there's such a line break of these things. A bloody nightmare. However, Grimgore's forces are really spread out, and that is making it very easy for us. Just devastating his units one by one. You can see that, uh, yeah, we, we outnumbered him anyway. Okay, we're trying to get Turkey Squadron out of that, but unfortunately, one turkey's been, he's, he's surrounded, he can't get out. But no turkey will be left behind. So we're going to send Turkey Leader in to drop a little flamey attack directly on these these gobbos to, uh, to allow Turkey 2 to get out of that. 
I mean, yeah, he's going to be a little bit incinerated, but he's fine. And out he comes. He's okay. There we go. That's fine. Grimgore has launched himself at the white lines of Shrace and Altharian coming down to engage. There we go. I think I think this should be pretty one-sided. Plus, you know, we can we can target him with literally all of the missile the missile fire and uh, take him down. He's not a very fast boy, is he? And uh, let's also drop a comet on some Black Orcs because that's always fun. I love the animation. It's good. Nice. Very nice. There we go. Grimgore's forces are retreating and Grimgore himself trying to escape with them. I say trying because, uh, yeah, he's about to have a very bad day. More nipple clamp. I'm mean, gonna run out of nipple clamps this way, aren't we? That's the that's the real travesty. Uh, yen. Ah, oh, yen. Holy An shit! Performance. Wow, really, really doing it. Uh, so that's gonna give you more wins of magic. Amber success chance is fine. Miss. Make your public order physical resistance. Uh, I mean, that's... Okay, that's not that useful. The Winds of Magic... Prince Eltharia. Is... is good. Coward right, is you're all dead. Make an example of they are really just throwing everything they got at us, aren't they? They will bow. Boop. Okay, where's Zags over there? I mean, considering how many orcs we now have in our employ, we should be able to see most of their fucking empire. In theory, anyway. Uh, looks like the the dwarves retaking stuff. They've got five settlements. I think they're retaking stuff. I think they're doing it because the orcs are so busy trying to kill us. The it's given the it's, it's given the dwarves some respite, which is uh, it's good, is good. Let's grab you so you can do more damage to people. Cavil the shadow is getting life leeching because more winds of magic power recharge rate is good, and I do like dropping comets on people because it makes a fun explosion. Master of high magic. I guess the question is, will Marathi decide to attack the Shrine of Loek with a much deep... De can you actually get away? I don't think you can. Because you'd have to retreat and then you wouldn't be able to... I, I think we've got a trapped. Like a rat. And Imerick's almost ready to go. We can send him across to join Altharian in the Badlands to complete... Right, what do we need to do? So, right, that one... Uh, we, Meston, okay, so we need that one. We can get that. We need the Marshes of Madness as well so we can get that one. That's fine. They're dead. That's all fine. And we need at least 100 Yavresi defense, of which we have 95. So pretty close. Almost there. At this rate, I might end up playing some Beastmen. Um, but fucking love Beastmen, so why not? Anyway, that'll have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.